Okay, there are two different types of mask fitters. Um, this is the original mask fitter, which works for most people, and it has a single strap that goes around the back of the head, and I'll go into how do you put this on in a second. The second type, which is type B, um, has an extra chin strap on the bottom, and it's for people with possibly a larger neck, uh, with a beard, uh, and anyone that really wants maybe a snugger, uh, more snug fit, because uh, it really holds it on better. And the main difference here is that there's a lower strap that goes behind the back of the neck. So I'll go into more detail. I'll start with uh, the original mask fitter. Um, and it has just a few components. So it has an elastic cord, the white elastic cord. It has a cord lock. It has a flexible um, foam nose piece. And it has some clear PVC tubing with a small slit where the, the cord passes through it. And to put um, the mask fitter on, just kind of dangle it from the cord lock here. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is put the cord lock around the back of your head, and then you put the nose piece near your nose. And you're gonna wanna look in a mirror for this um, or turn your phone into camera mode and self camera mode and look at it while you're putting it on. Cause it's very difficult to do this, especially the first time um, without a mirror or some type of uh, video device where you can see yourself. Um, so, like I said, once you have it fit a couple, once or twice, it usually goes on really well back to how it uh, was before, unless you put it in some type of uh, pocket or something like that where it gets uh, smashed. But you put it around the back of your head, um, and then you're going to want to pass this lower cable um, underneath of your chin, and then you are want to want to form uh, the nose piece. And for this, I think what's important is to try to have it be slightly horizontal almost like a football player um, with markings under the eyes. And then you're gonna wanna take this green uh, nose piece and bend it almost at a right angle. Think of like a handlebar mustache on the end. Um, and then the tube will more go straight, will go straight down on the side of your chin. And you wanna do have it uh, be the, you wanna do the same thing on the other side to have it be pretty much the same. Um, the other tip here is once you have it um, in and around your mouth, you're gonna to want to make sure that it has a pretty good seal all the way around. You might need to move uh, the mask out or move, you know, kind of tweak and move the fitter to make sure that it's fully around the mask and there's nothing that's like hanging off the edges. Then you're gonna to wanna, to, on the back, reach around and pull a little bit to create some small amount of tension. Our tests show that you really don't need a lot of tension, so if it's feeling too tight, it's probably too tight. Um, one thing that's a common issue is to have a little bit of pressure on the ears. If you wear it down like this, you can see that it would be pulling down on your ears. So it helps um, some people to pull this up and have it be more on a straight line coming from the mask fitter up back around your head. To take it off, you just reach around and pull back off and it should just pop right off. That's one option. Um, the other option is if you just want to relieve the pressure, maybe you're going into your office for a while or things like that. Um, one option is just to pull this chin strap off, pull the, pull the chin strip strap up, and it kind of relieves a little bit of the, the pressure. So it just really sits on your nose. So that kind of works if you don't need to talk um, and that doesn't bother you for a period of time. Uh, the other option, the third option, is really just to drop it down around your uh, neck. So you can pull it off down and around and then just let it drape around your neck and you can wear it almost like a necklace. As I mentioned, there's a second type called type B and it's the same as the original one, but it has a, a lower set of straps. Um, it's for people that have difficulty having this lower chin strap hold uh, stay on. It's for people with maybe a larger neck or a beard or things like that. So I'm gonna show you how to put this one on and then I'll, I'll give you a little closer look of it. Um, but it's the same as the original uh, mask fitter with the one single strap on top that comes through, loops through. Um, but it has two other additional straps. I um, mean, those are the ones you're wanna, gonna wanna grab onto when you put it on initially. Take those um, where it's essentially upside down and put those around your neck. So just put those on and dangle it. It will be around um, your neck. And then you're gonna want, and then just put it on just like you would the normal mask fitter. So you put the thing on your nose, uh, bring the elastic cord around and tighten it. And then you're gonna wanna come in the back here and tighten this lower second chin strap. Um, and you can see here that what it does is holds 
it holds the chin strap into place. So it allows um, this chin strap to stay down there and it won't pop off. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that you can modify uh, the mask fitter. So with just a, a pair of scissors, you can actually take it apart. So I'll show you on mine. Um, it's quite easy. What you just need to do is you can undo the knot or you can cut it. You can pull the cord lock off. Then you can pop out um, this nose piece and then the string pulls out and then you can cut uh, the tubing if you need it to be shorter. You can cut uh, the green piece if you need it to be shorter. You can cut the cable or the cord if it needs to be shorter. So it's totally customizable. You just need a pair of scissors.